Hello, ladies, gents, and shameless pranksters. How the hell do you turn poker into a roguelike? It's actually quite simple. Let's do a new run. You first select a deck. I'm going to do the yellow deck because it's uh, a deck that I have not had a win with. It is a standard poker deck with, you know, it's 52 cards. It's 52, right? It's not 54. No, I'm having second that. Uh, 52 cards. And you go through a run. Each run is divided in antes and rounds. You want to get to the top of the eighth ante. Each ante ends, has three rounds. Each one will end with some kind of boss fight with a condition. Your objective is to beat the score through each of the rounds. Let's select the small blind. See, there's round number one. And how do you beat the score? Well, by playing Pro poker card. This is the easiest choice of my life. Let's do a straight. Gives me each card will add a certain amount of chips. Where it says chips, you can just read points. It's exactly the same for all intents and purposes. And now all we need is six more points to beat it. Let me play a king. A single card will get me whatever points is plus the multiplier uh, that is associated with that hand. Depending on the hand, you can check right here. Depending on the hand, you will get a certain amount of points and multiply those points by a certain multiplier. And you can find ways of leveling up the benefits that you get. Let's cash out because I got rewards from just beating the small blind and also having hands remaining. And also the interest because I was already flash flush with cash. So the roguelike element comes in mostly by going to the shop and improving your chances of getting better scores. What does this joker do? You got a five joker board up here that you can fill up with a build. Times three multiplier. If a blind poker hand, if play poker hand has already been played this round. This sounds awesome. I'm going to buy that. This encourages me to focus on finding a particular poker round that I really want to, uh, to always benefit from. This is the level ups for the types of hands. This one improves the level of four of a kind. I have never enjoyed four of a kind. I think it sucks to focus on this unless you manage to get a really nice set of circumstances. All cards and packs. I probably should have bought this first before I bought that. I should have read the voucher, which is the vouchers. Vouchers are permanent upgrades to your run. This is a passive thing that is always going to happen. Now all the purchases are going to be discounted. Went from four dollar to three dollar. Standard packs. I'm going to pass on these. I'm going to. I would rather save these four or these five bucks for something that may be better. When you go into selecting a blind, you can either fight against the blind try to get the score or you can also get the choice of skipping which can give you all kinds of different benefits this is like a surefire thing that you're going to get or you can fight the blind get some money spend it on a shop and maybe the stuff in the shop will be better than this benefit in my experience and please bear in mind i am no expert you saw that i've gotten maybe five wins this is a clear flush candidate, I think. Although you could also go the strategies to get, you know, play some good hands to get big scores, right? You could either choose to try and get a full house with sixes and kings, or you could maybe discard these in get favor of getting a flush, which is five of the same suit. Let's try and go for that flush. There you go. Actually, let me, because there's also a straight here, isn't there? Do I want to play this straight? Do I want to play this flush? The straight gives more points, but it includes a king. See how there are a lot of little variations. And the variations mean... Let me just play this. No, that... Wait, wait. 30 times 4. Flushes are OP, in my experience. Again, I'm not, like, super expert. I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. You can bat seek me all you want. Uh, in the comments and I will welcome every single bit of the things they have to say as far as I have seen one flushes are OP in the early game 
too. You always want to fight the blind. You never choose the skip unless there's some kind of really, really uh, specific tag that you could really use. Seems to me like having money and then having all these options to buy stuff. A one dollar joker? This is like a, a complete no-brainer, buddy. And all cards are considered face cards. This seems also an excellent, excellent joker. Buy it. Um, you can buy then the booster packs there for, for extra cards, but you can also have celestial boosters which improve the type of hand that you may be playing since we have this thing i'm like maybe i want to improve uh, pairs because i am liable to be paying a playing a bajillion of pairs like, well, let's improve the double pair because it's one of the easiest hands to play and if it always comes with a times three let's put this at the end because the order does matter if it comes always comes with a times three, maybe focusing on that double pair because there, it's so easy to play. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the RNG, but it's giving me. Oh no, it's not a straight. I thought it was a straight, but we're missing the eight. So here I could maybe try and go for aces. I could discard four diamonds. Since we have the times three, it's really not that big a deal. Maybe we can find an ace somewhere. Ah. The thing is, because we have this time three, this time three, straights are going to be uncommon, right? So if I go for a straight, I am unlikely to find a second straight. So perhaps what I want to do, I'm just going to play this pair, and I am going to count on the times three to bail me out. There's another pair right here. There's a, a double pair, but do I want to do that? I am actually now wondering, can the pair with the times three save me? Well, you can do a little bit of math. If two aces get 192 without the times three, pretty sure uh, another pair after this one will totally get me the win. So that is all that I really need to think about. There you go, 500, I know, you, you, you got it. The thing with Balatro, or Balatro, I've heard it pronounced both ways. The internet told me that it's correct both ways. The ancient Latin pronunciation is Balatro. Permanently gain one discard per round. Sign me up, baby. Although, you know, the misprint joker, actually, we can afford both. I don't think I won any of these. The last thing that we haven't seen is the Arcana packs, which give you tarot cards, which are probably, arguably, the best way to get yourself a win and run because the tarot cards can give you such excellent benefits uh, they can steamroll and and what's the word uh, uh snowball they can really snowball your run if you get a lot of these really useful tarot cards anyway let's uh try and find two double pairs let me just also play that basically i'm putting a two into the playing thing so it just gets discarded it just wins it just wins because of the amazing <laughs> flat multipliers that we got going on at the very start but you got as double the rank of lowest card held in hand to the multiplier that is awesome sell this card to create a double tag eh, eh, let's just go with this arcana pack yeah let's get a tarot card maybe we can get something amazing out of it enhances one selected card into a stone card no thanks just yet create although it does play well with the double pair stone cards are cards that you can basically add to your hand so that it gives you plus 50 points to the to the hand creates a random joker which we could use because we have a slot open creates up to two random planet cards two tarot cards and converts up to since none of them are extremely powerful let's just grab the double and this is once again turning into a gold car. All right, this is, this is good enough. Let's uh, go to the next round. Mega Celestial Pack. See, this is super tempting to me. Two planet cards that you can choose, but no, I fight. I would rather get cash than go to the shop. Let's, our, let's focus on what I said. We're going to go with this strategy. I thought it was too... Uh, 
I just thought that those were two kings and not a king and a queen. That was very embarrassing. Please do not make fun of me. I am mentally challenged. Um, this is upsetting. Let's uh, maybe try to fish for a king. We are basically stuck. This is that. Uh, and if I get a yeah, if I get a pair, that will be good. The thing is, we have such high regular multiplier that it really doesn't matter too much what we play just yet. We're going to win these hands. The problem there is is that you need to find some way to snowball to get yourself some massive multipliers. Retrieve all car cards held in hand abilities. We don't have any of those, but it could be super useful. And a raised fist. And this is good. You catch me saying that it ain't. Let's just go for the Arcana pack and get ourselves some tarot cards. That was the money. That will give me five bucks. Oh, we also have this. Actually, we can use the Hermit and then double that with the Fool and we will get a whole bunch of money. This will give six dollars. But then we won't be able to double it. Let's just use the Hermit. And then the Fool will also give me the one that I just used. $20! Amazing! Let me just grab one of these Jumbo Celestial Packs. Double pair? Double pair? No double pair. Alright, well, I have established that flushes are pretty damn... I've also been playing a ton of pairs. Let's go with the... Let's go with the flushes. Flushes and double pairs. Maybe that, that's why I can do it. I don't have any, but this is very good if you get the enhancements. So we're, I'm going to buy it and maybe it'll work out. The Flint base chips, Molt and Molt are halved. That is okay by me. Give me some double pairs. This is garbage. There's a pair of twos. Twos are garbage though, but let me just discard all these. And maybe we can get a... There you go. And we'll throw this three into the garbage. And hopefully we can find a whole bunch of other double pairs. So, flat chip increases will carry you through the early game. Flat molt increases will carry you through the mid game. Then scaling molt increases will take you all the way to the final boss and then make you lose. If you don't want to lose at the final boss, and you know, as, as a general rule that I have worked out for myself, you need multi exponential growth. You need something that multiplies your multiplier, and that's how you can beat the really challenging antis at the very uh, at the very end. Planet cards appear two times more frequently in the shop. We've got twenty one Dara. I am a big fan of the red card. I may have relied on the red card a little too much. Because then you just buy packs and skip them. You don't care what it's in there and you just get a ton of multiplier. The problem with the red card is, you know, you, you, you're you skipping all these damn... <laughs> all these damn packs that can give you much, much better multiplier. But we can just sell... Certainly we can skip a couple and we can just sell the... This garbage joker. There you go. Get ourselves that. And... Um, the chips if play I don't care about that. Planet cards appear two times two times more. I don't really care too much about that. Let's just go for this jumbo arcana pack and maybe there will be nothing that I like. We do have the mine. So we are very interested in upgrading cards. Also, we also have this devil that I have not used. A gold card, you need to hold the heart the the card in hand. Let's make this we want to play the aces. We want to play the tens. I feel like you should turn the low value cards, like maybe the mid ones, like sixes and fives, into the gold things that you want to. You may be holding in hand that are is going to be worthless, and then we can also get some extra suits. But since I have the mime card, we're going to turn these two aces into upgraded aces. Will give you extra chips. And we carry on to the next round, or do we want to... Let's do this Mega Celestial Pack. Maybe we get those double pairs. No double pairs. The, the game just hates me. Not even a flush, nothing. Huh? I'm going to grab the pairs, because I am establishing that I am trying so hard 
to get those. And now instead of picking one of the ones that I really don't care about, I can skip. Give me that plus three, plus tres multiplier. Oh, baby. No thanks. We're going to fight. You always fight unless that tag is super duper mega good. This is the easiest double pair of my life. There you go. So, Balatro. I didn't realize how enormously popular this game is. I was like, man, what's this about? A roguelike poker? Let me try it. Turns out there's a bajillion players for this game. It has all kinds of content. Like the moment that you type it on a Google search, on the YouTube search, you're bombarded by Balatrode content because so many people are playing the game. I was like, how did this incredible hit of a video game? Face cards give 30 chips when scored. Everything is a face card, if you remember this. So it's like, hmm, we're starting to look, it may be time to get rid of the red card. And instead, just go all out trying to get face cards. Which reminds me... I upgraded the aces, but because everything is face cards, it doesn't matter, right? Um, the misprint is, it can be so great, it can be complete trash, depending on completely on random things. I think I'm okay getting rid of the red card. I'm going to go all out on... I'm going to go all out on creating a face deck with a lot of enhancements. That's what we're going to try and do. Hopefully with lots and lots and lots of pairs. Hey, I love to see Uranus. Let's go into the next round. Don't really care about that. Carry on. Standard pack, though. Yeah, why not? Maybe we'll get some enhanced cards into our deck. This counts as an enhanced, uh, enhanced card, I believe. Also, a steel card is nice. And it does count as a face card. Mm. Give me a jack. Give me a jack. I don't know if that was the right choice. This is, that's where I'm like, Ugh. I am not smart enough to make the, the proper choices here. We have a fairly easy flush, but we have established that we are pair Andes. Let's see if we can get... Holy crap! Holy crap! That's a full house, baby! Now, a full house is only level 1. If I use a double pair, 60 times 4. 40 times 4, but of course it includes an extra card. It kind of evens out. I have a, But since we have this guy I am much more likely to get a second double pair than I am to get a second full house so that is what makes my decision of paying, playing that double pair instead of playing the full house so let's see if we can get I mean they're all face cards so it really doesn't matter which ones that you get but you know they have higher value so let's discard all the garbage I get myself these fellas right here to throw away a four for some reason oh baby i it's just too, so many points this pleases me greatly you can increase the speed of the game you can also decrease it i like it a little bit slower than top speed plus eight molt if played hand contains a pair this is like the greatest thing it's not really the greatest thing no it's not I'm like, yeah, I'm playing pairs, but this doesn't scale. It just gives you a plus 8. I don't even know if it gives you a plus 16 if you have a double pair. I don't know how, how that works. I may just buy it just for the sake of science. And I love the ceremonial dagger, but I have a full suite. Oh, oh, this, is, this is my build right here. Now we want, <laughs> we want the ability to get a ton of uh, improved cards. So... And is this enough to beat the game? I honestly don't know. I don't have enough experience to be able to to say. This is like not, not that great. But it is an enhanced card, which means it will trigger twice. We're going to go all out just getting whatever is enhanced. We're going to get it in there. Skip this garbage. <laughs> Let's just carry on. Actually, hey, getting a queen is not that bad. Play only one hand type this round. Well... If it isn't, that isn't my entire strategy already. So let's play these two. We have a straight... No, no, there's no jack. 
let me throw away this seven. Maybe we'll get something that is higher value. Very straightforward video game to understand, but holy crap, is the skill ceiling pretty damn high. The main criticism I've seen on the internet, I thought that once you sold a Joker, you couldn't get it back, but I, I'm clearly, I'm clearly a ro uh, not right about that because we have the red card once more. So, a double pair, there you go. So, uh, yeah, they, they can reappear. I, I know that. Raise the cap of interest earned per round to $10. That's something I didn't cover. If you have enough money, per $5 at the end of a round, you will get an, an extra dollar on interest. Uh, this round. Shop has a rare joker. Very tempting, but no! I will fight and I will get money. Double pair, baby. Let's just keep on going on with this. Now, if you look at the top scores that we're going to get, let's see if we can have a double pair again. Uh, get rid of these. We want maximum discards, right? Actually, if you look at the thing, we are far more likely to get jacks than anything else because I already pay played a king pair. Because so you want to discard the king. There you go. Hey, there you go. Let's see. Basically, these this play. It's the max that we're going to get plus. Okay, so the max I can get with this current build is around fifteen to to twenty thousand. This build ain't good. Probably the misprint is what needs to go. We're going to maybe get something better. Maybe this is just too weak. The scary face. And the Pareidolia. It's just not strong enough of a Joker set to be able to create a powerful build. Let's find out together. Maybe we can eke out a victory simply by hmm, playing things. I feel like I want to skip it, but I guess we'll go Pluto. Uh, and let's see if we can get an enhanced card. That would be great. I would also love to get, you know, actual... Stone cards are actually great for my strategy of double pairing. Give us a free spectral pack. How can you be this freaking tempting? But no. <laughs> I want money. And I want chances of getting better stuff. Let's keep that ace. Oh, that's a pair of fours. So I was going to keep the ace and the ten. This is hot garbage. I hate everything. We could maybe get a flush and all, but no, we're double pairing or bust. <laughs> this is upsetting. Double pairing or bust? I don't care. Let me get rid of, even of a four. I only want one of the fours. Bruh. <laughs> this is pissing me off! <sighs> I mean, fine, we do have a straight. I'll play the damn straight. It is a very high value straight, and it will get a whole bunch of. A whole bunch of. Uh... Does it matter whether you get the m multiplier first or the chips first? I don't think it does, but just in case, let's do it like this. Um, now I'm incentivized to play straights, but obviously they are much harder to get. Pairs are clearly impossible to obtain. Boy, we have slow, low chances of getting another king, but discard that. I mean, I'm fortunate because I want to keep the five in my hand, but. That's fine. I forgot that we actually have not played a second one. So we kind of need another double pair or, or bust. Glucked out right there. That should be enough because of the times three. But, oh, wow, that was kind of close. <laughs> really need, we need something more powerful than this. It's just not working out. It's not working out. We've had, I've, I've had... 
runs that are far more powerful. I really don't like this setup, if I'm honest with you. Increase a planet card if this card is held in hand. Let me just get another stone and keep opening those starter packs. I would like to remove cards from my deck. That would be amazing. Instead, held in hand abilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I forgot. I misread it. I was thinking about it's the ones that you play. No, no, no. It's only the stuff that is in your hand. So I have been uh, with the wrong idea in my head this entire time. Probably driving you insane. Let's keep going with the misprint. All face cards are debuffed. All my cards are face cards. Uh, this is bad. <laughs> it makes me feel bad. Now what I have to do, I have no choice. I have no choice. If you want to beat, if you have, if you want even a remote chance of beating this, you need to sell this Joker. <laughs> it's the only way that you can get it done. It is time now. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise because I mean you do I do have a straight but I, I and I have a 10 right there and this maybe it, it does get played twice and stuff if I play a straight it's not going to work with the card sharp so and three of the are these are debuffed probably should still be going for the double pairs bruh but hey this played twice so we get a, a fat multiplier there it was not worth it in the slightest okay let me just uh, maybe maybe we can get a there's no way i can get a second straight we're just fishing for a possible double pair fishing for i honestly don't know it is we are cursed there you go on that that stone card and this will be counting twice maybe if this you want this first yeah yeah for sure because then this gets uh triggered twice there you go that was a, also a mistake you also want this before the mime not sure about that one but let's play that hand this will be quite a lot so we may have a bit of a chance that's weird then trigger then trigger before the misprint I thought that whatever it, it they trigger from left to right, but I may be mistaken in that. I don't know. Uh, please, double aces. I mean, double ace with this pair. Let's make do some math. Forty-four. If you're counting how much score your hand is going to get. You made a mistake at some point. You are in the desperate dregs of humanity if you are in this situation. That is, uh, look, it's going to work out. I put my faith in Balatro's gods. Do it. Look at that. Look at that. I am the winner. <laughs> that worked out. Uh, we can now maybe let go completely of the entire face build and try to go for something different very nice arcana pack and let's go do the buffoon pack first see if we can get something better i mean this is okay 100 chips if you can contain a straight none of these are exciting i'm gonna pick this because it's better than literally better than nothing that's about it let's buy that voucher uh the blank voucher does nothing but it unlocks the possibility of getting a really good voucher later in the run will we we get there i have my doubts that i will get there Ooh, uh, let's see we can destroy a couple cards we can get extra hearts uh, or we can get a, a random joker probably destroying these two probably pretty good but i am also very tempted to get a random joker because when you get a random joker it can be a legendary joker it can also be a piece of trash but it could be amazing we get plus 10 multiplier he earned an earn five dollars in poker hand it's a full house poker hand changes oh okay okay so it changes it changes definitely uh, we don't really care about this scary face anymore uh, right now this is not great i don't have enough cash for anything else 
gives a one dollar per hand played this turn this is it's too tempting i think this is one of those cha those times where i will skip because this is a massive injection of cash i hate to skip a, a store it is a huge price to pay doubles your money <laughs> but i'm going to go to the store with these 33 dollars hopefully we'll uh we'll do something better mm, maybe we can get double aces that'll be great the problem now is that i want to keep these in hand Let's see if we can get those double aces although you know we, we still want the face cards but this card is too small to be able to get this done maybe my best chance is to play regular pairs right now and then throw away a bunch of other cards there you go that is that is what i'm going to do probably a bad a choice but you know the multipliers are are getting quite high there's there's the double pair right there hmm unfortunately i cannot play that with the, everything else but maybe we'll get a two at some point throw away this seven unfortunately i have not played a double pair so full house huh hey this should do it we do get this this is better it gives me better multiplier and more chips we can put this at the front so it triggers first it's better than just having jacks right I i'm pretty sure that it's much much better there you go it could have been a full house and it will have given me five dollars but i think we needed the score to be able to just beat this and then the mime gets me extra cash right there. So with the mime, I just want steel cards. That is probably my number one focus. Yes, I will buy the death card. Yes, I will buy and use the pair. Level up. And uh, let's see what we can find in the packs. I am flush with cash. So we're going to finally do a few rerolls. Uh, hell yeah, double pair upgrade. And let's see what's in the standard pack. <laughs> gold cards is nice a golden stone card but you don't want to keep these when this card is played and scores all right so that you do want this i think this is a more reliable source of money than the gold cards and you get to play it as opposed to having to hold it which is annoying as hell let's see what you got gains multiplier playing card added to your deck i have been adding a bajillion of them but we will be restarting it considering how play without a scoring face card huh we're going like complete opposite i think it's too late to go to mount the bus it is too late to mount the bus the multiplier will not get high enough i will favor the hologram over the scary face though i think that is the the best way to go here and that goes right there. Probably you want the mime to trigger after the... Yeah, yeah. I think this is the proper order of things. And I think I'll reroll it one more time. Hell yeah, baby! Give me that extra cash. Uh, <clears throat> earn $5 if three or more face cards are discarded. No thanks. Let's reroll one more time. I think I need it. Tempted for the popcorn. It is a, a short-term investment. Basically, you eat up the popcorn. It's great to start and then it becomes just kernels and trash this is okay ah let's go next what is the even the ante let me uh, check one in seven cards get drawn face down that is not bad i don't think i want to waste quote unquote waste my money and more rerolls let's uh let's carry on and see if we can uh, make things happen here all right what you got we want double pairs as usual Uh, I guess I'll just discard all these. Looking for the double pairs. I uh, will keep the queen. I'll discard that. Keep the queen. And throw away the four. And we'll do th this with a steel card, maybe. Give me another queen. Another queen. Oh, there's a good one. There's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put this over here. There you go. Okay, let me double check that everything's triggering the way it should be. Okay. Um, throw away the seven. Do we want to get a copy of any of these? Maybe copy the ten of spades. In the next hand, I think I will do it. Yeah, baby. Yeah. 
I was like, will I get a second hand? Hmm, let's do something like this. I always have to double check. Convert the left into the right. I've done this wrong twice. Left into the right, okay? This is the left. This is the right. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I've been so humiliated by getting that wrong. Not once, but twice. That I'm like so paranoid these days. <laughs> All right. Play these double pairs. This should be pretty damn great. The mom is starting to really pay off. Some sweet, sweet deal right there. Very nice. Very nice uh, boss fight. It feels weird to call them fights. It's just playing around. It, it, it's not a, a fight whatsoever. Let's give me one, uh, one of these. Permanently gain a plus one hand. Hell yeah. Super synergy with our card sharp. And uh, copies ability of Joker to the right. The blueprint is so good. I think the hologram needs to go. Or maybe it's the time to get rid of the misprint. I didn't even check this one. I mean, this is... It's just 10 malt, you know? The misprint can be so good, but I'll also just take a shit on your chest. I'll call you Freddy. I mean, it ain't Freddy. So I, I don't think I want you to be around. I mean, I'm going to add a standard pack. Let's see, let's see. I mean, I think the hologram can get completely out of control. Mm. Let's go with the steel card because of the mime. Plus uh, times the 25 multiplayer, maybe. Um, let's see what's in the buffoon pack. Or maybe something incredible. One stone card to the deck when the blind is selected. Meh. One in two chance to create a tarot card when any booster pack is open. I am incentivized incentivized to open lots of packs because of the hologram might be too greedy though I do love me my tarot cards mm. wonder what's the math how often does misprint do better than uh, flat plus 10 how often it does worse Either way, I think, I think I can afford it. I think I can afford it. This may be a very bad choice. I think I can afford it. Uh, doesn't matter where it goes, right? Because it's a, uh, it's that economy kind of pack. And I really do want. Oh, I completely forgot that this was available. <laughs> oh, the blueprint is too good. We gotta go for the blueprint. Uh, but we also need the flat malt, otherwise we're going to just die a horrendous death. Let's see ya, hallucination. Barely knew you. Let me just create that, and now this will copy the times three. We can move it around as it is necessary. That's something I really like in, in Balatro. The way that you can... No, I don't want that. Uh, the way that you can rearrange the jokers for different bonuses depending on what you want i really really like that so because now this will not take effect i can either choose oh this is nice uh i can choose to get an extra plus 25 that is not good enough so i can do what i can do is just get an extra plus 10 to begin with there you go oh yeah we also have a death card I might make a copy of this ace on the next hand. Uh, hello? Blueprint? Blueprint? Hello? Joker to the right. Maybe it doesn't copy the holographic. Maybe it doesn't copy... Let's see, copies ability. But perhaps not the... the uh, what would it be? The enhancement? I think that's how it works. It doesn't copy the enhancement, only the ability. That is a misunderstanding on my part. We played a double pair, so if we play a second double pair, we'll, our life will be solved. Let's get rid... Actually... Do I want a second two? With Molt and Foil? I think so. Maybe get rid of the seven. I do like the ace. Do I want a second ace? Do I want a second... I think I want... This is a good card, I think. So let's do, let's see, let's reread that. Convert the left into the right, okay? 
Use it! And that sh this should be a pretty massive, pretty massive hand. And you want these to trigger first. Do you? You do, right? I think so. And then we get, because it's another double pair, this should get a plus six, uh, I mean a times nine. Yeah, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. This blueprint is going to save my ass. Awesome. But it, it will. It does take some finagling, moving things around. Unfortunately, no, uh, no way to add cards. I love shortcut, but we don't have the deck for it. Campfire is perhaps the best you can possibly have. It is one of the best jokers in existence. Maybe get rid of hologram. It is a major pain in the ass to get it working. I don't think we're going to get it to work. Uh, let's go with campfire. Very, very good. It does... You do need to juice it every ante. What it does, if you haven't read it, is every time you sell something, it gets better. But it resets at the end of the ante. So you are, you know, you're always selling things in order to get it to do... To... I clicked skip in the... I'm a freaking moron. <laughs> I clicked skip instead of use. I am very, very upset right now. I hate it. Two copies of one selected card in your heart. That is nice. Destroys one random card in your hand and... Four random enhanced number cards. This is nice too, but random creates a planet card if this card is held in hand at the end of the round. A uh, uh, blue seal, my bad. Uh, which is good. Converts all cards in hand to a single random suit. We are not going for matching suits. This is, I would say this is the best spectral card right now. Instead, I'm just going to get more Steel Tens. I think that's a, an excellent choice because of the mime. We do have quite a bit of cash. I think we can afford one reroll. 10 multi plate hand consider flush. And then the lovers, which we'll just buy and keep it in our pocket. Let's go. Well, easiest, easiest hand of my life. Get that stone right there. This will trigger nicely. Do I want a wild card? I don't think I need it for anything. I mean, this is just nice to have. Maybe even just to sell. Probably better because wild cards uh, basically if you make the card uh, work with any suit. We don't care about suits in this run. Uh, let's just make the campfire better. And before this triggers, let's get that mime triggering twice and we'll get these. There you go. This should maybe just a one hand Andy right here. Look at that, the mime triggering twice. That is just broken, it's just broken. Oh, still not good enough though. Concerning, concerning indeed. Mm. Well, this is just a, a full discard, isn't it? We still have plenty of aces in deck. I could simply play the tens. See if we can find an ace. Well, 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 we can play these. This will not trigger, but these will. And now the question is, does it give me more multiplier? If you make this trigger twice? Or does it give me more multiplier if you times three? I think this gives me better. Because it's a, basically a times nine versus a, uh, mathematics are too complicated. Let me just play the hand and hope for the best. And that is something I really like about Balatro. How I... The calculation is so complicated. I don't want to ever do it. So I will much rather just vibe with the card. And this, that seems like an extremely deliberate design choice. Like the designer doesn't want me to add up the value of these damn cards. He just wants me to create a cool build and hope that it works. And hope that it is uh, what I wanted to do. Uh, anyway, times three multiplier. If played hand has a scoring uh, one of each club, which uh, of each suit, which actually is good for my build. That being said, let's just open our kind of pack right now. And maybe this time I can use it instead of throwing it to the garbage. Two random planet cards is nice. Enhanced uh, one to stone. Gold car. Uh, the Helding hand. I don't like the Helding hand, even though we have the um, the mime. Uh, it. It. Uh, What's the word? It limits your play so hard. Let me get a steel. Let me get a steel jack. There you 
go. And uh, do I want more stones? I think we just want two random planets. Because if they're bad, we just sell them. And it creates a better campfire. There you go. I will keep the pear. I like the pear. I will use the pear. Much better than apples. Open this arcana pack. Yeah, give me better stuff. Lucky card. Another steel card. And destroy two cards. Destroy, I think, is probably the better choice. But we are going so hard on steel cards. Give me a steel queen. There you go. I'm getting kind of broke, so let's just go to the next. Play only one hand. This is where we lose. <laughs> this anti, this this boss is actually an anti, anti my build. What I can do maybe is sell the crap out of my jokers and get a good campfire. Very upsetting. <laughs> we can. I mean, since it's just one hand, we're gonna have to dig for the absolute best. Which means discarding all these for sure. Like, keep that. We have the double here. I mean, this is. It's possible. It's possible. This is a times four with these, but I think the Joker wants to go here. The blueprint. And we just need all steel cards. May even throw away... No, no, don't throw that away. I think we have plenty of jacks, right? Let's see. We have four jacks in deck. I think we're likely to get a jack at some point. Case in point. And this is all steel, fellas. So, we, I think this might make it. I don't want to calculate it, but that's a lot. This is a lot. We trigger this first. We are miming twice. And, of course, we play the, the stone. This is possible. Pray to the Bal Balatru gods. Pray for my success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trigger them all. Trigger them all. Oh, 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 baby. <laughs> I guess that worked out. I thought I was going to lose super hard, but it turns out I am the greatest Balato player of all time. So, you know, plenty of cards appear two times more frequently in the shop. Sure, we can afford this. Why not? Means that we're going to get more uh, selections right here. When blind is selected, gain three hands and lose all discards. It's nice, but I think I'm down with what we got. I mean, this this needs to go, right? We need something that gives me much better multiplier than just a plus 10. Because I have never actually done it. But this is not it. Hopefully we can find something to replace it. No, your anus. We are probably just gonna... Ugh, this is awful. Fine, I'll uh, I'll take the flush, but it's really not good. Really not good. I wish I could have just simply kept it and then sell, sold it so campfire becomes better. This is ass garbage. Just give me that Pluto. I think I just skipped a Pluto. And now I picked it again. Uh, give me something cool. I'm just going to buy this. The Joker gains times 25 multiplier for each steel card in your deck. Bruh. <laughs> it's awesome. This is the greatest. What do I throw away? I mean, I hate, I hate it. I hate it. Because we do need some flat multiplier. But this is huge. Absolutely huge. This may have completely altered the run from barely scraping by to this may go a long, long distance. <sighs> Why you tempt me so? Why you tempt me so? A negative joker means it's basically it fits. It gives you an extra slot. But of course you're just stuck with it. Because only that one will be negative. You know? You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Discard this garbage. 
Give me another ace. Thank you for your compliance. I appreciate you. Are we throwing a stone card in there and this should be pretty good. Okay, let's think about the blueprint. This is always better, right? Triggering this twice is always better than this plus. I mean, not always better, but certainly right now. And certainly better than triggering the mime twice. So there you have it. This may even get me the win just by virtue of this triggering twice. This is a huge multiplier. Holy crap, brother. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so great. I thought that this was a losing run for sure. But that development is so great. Well, sign me up, baby. <laughs> This is freaking great because I think all of them are. No, I got three, which is great. And I don't think it matters. It just alters the nature of the jokers. So it doesn't trigger first or anything. Doesn't matter where you put it. There's up to three selected cards to clubs. So we can buy it and then sell it for campfire. And we will open this standard pack. Maybe we'll get another steel card. Hell yeah, baby. Give me more. More planets. That's a double pair. The double pair meta is uh, taking off. It's going to be amazing. Our hard cards are debuffed. See if I give a crap. We carry on. We can turn them into clubs, in fact. Uh, I mean, is there a reason to alter the nature of my, my deck? Not really, but I'm going to do it anyway. I don't think we need the campfire. That is why... I mean, I could just simply keep it, right? Do I really need to change that or would i rather have a little a better campfire on the next ante i think we can make that score with our eyes closed so um let me throw away all that this is hot garbage i hate it that's the thing now the steel cards kind of get in the way uh, we want uh, a bigger hand size is the problem now Never mind. Everything's great. <laughs> Everything's working out. Throw in the stone card. Nothing needs to trigger first. And this is huge. Right. Times three. This doesn't... Does it work? That will give me an extra times 1.5, right? So I think this is always best. Times nine and then... Uh, yeah, yeah. Just, just play the hand. I think that's always better to get a double times three. That is just up, that's just obscene. <laughs> All right, I think uh, I think that was the right choice to keep it, and then you just get a better campfire on on this ante. Okay, what do we have? Run info. Oh, this is the previous one. Is it? I think so. Anyway. Poker hand is a straight flush. I'm not interested. We're going to buy this for our campfire. So, and so. We will boss blind one type or anti. Hell yeah. We may get one that sucks ass. I mean, I'm kind of broke though. Didn't realize I was running out of money. Polychrome glass card? Crap. Sure, why not? Just put it in there. Just put it all in there. I can fit it all. Love Uranus. Give me all of Uranus. And we carry on. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, flips and shuffles of Joker cards, huh? How, how is this? But does it keep them that way or? I don't know. How the, I've never encountered this one before. I guess we're about to do some science. All right. Mm, campfire is good. This is great. We definitely want to go for that card sharp. Do I want to maybe get, uh, you know, not get rid of the steel card? I don't think it matters. We can just get rid of the steel card. It's okay. Nothing needs to trigger first, right? Just play that. Thanks to this combo, it's just uh, insane. He's never going to run out of points. There you go. <laughs> yeah, okay. We don't need it. And we get some extra cash. That's great. Give me that cash. Jupiter, huh? Buy it. Sell it. We're all in on double pairs. 
Play cards uh, with odd rank, give plus 30 chips. Oh, wow, amazing. Show it up, your asshole! Let me just uh, open this celestial pack. Uh, no double pairs, but I do like the regular pairs. So let's just go for that because of the incredible ability to triple them. And a buffoon pack for three bucks. I might find something that's better than what I got. It is unlikely, though. Certainly, I don't want any of this shit. So that was three dollars into the garbage. Carry on. Oh, nah. Let's just fight. All right. Uh, no pairs. Makes me sad. This card is trash. It's a lot of steel, baby. Unfortunately, uh, I mean, we can just go with. I wonder. Let me go with pairs and see what happens, okay? And we'll discard that one. And with this, times 3, times 2.5. I think this is fine. Let's see. Oh, I should have put that first. That was a mistake, I think. Not, not sure if it matters or not. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> just, I just paired. Give you a pair of twos, and that was uh, almost 500,000 points. Uh, don't be impressed by that, by the way. If you haven't seen Balatro gameplay before, it gets to exponential notation. <laughs> so it gets give me more steel cards. Hell yeah. A celestial pack. Mm, Uranus. I don't care about the proper pronunciation. It will always be Uranus. Get rid of a piece of trash. And for two dollars, get a better campfire. I should have actually kept that. We don't need this multiplier right now. You know? We can actually double that one. Thanks, round. We don't need that multiplier right now. Okay, let's find out. I see. I see. This can be a problem. <laughs> Please. This can be a real problem, but I think we're fine. I think we should be fine anyway. Uh, but it does it does create a little bit of stress. Let's keep the two. Because I might get a really good two back. Okay, so I am concerned. Let me play this pair of threes. Let's see. Can, do you reveal it? Okay, that's the mime. Something good happened, so it's all good. It didn't matter. Victory is co it's achieved. This run is so good. We're going to go into endless mode. See how far we can get it. I mean, it is good, but it's not exponentially good in the sense of, oh, it is completely out of control. So we're not going to get that far. Uh, you want the mime to go first, something like that, and the steel goes like that, and uh, there you go. The campfire is trash garbage right now, but we can uh, create a better campfire soon. Just put those cards into the fire, let them burn. Destroy one random card in your hand, add four enhanced cards. Destroy one card, add three. Uh, excuse me? Enhanced? It has phase cards, I see. I mean, none of these un except the nine would break my heart. Let's go with familiar. You son of a bitch! <laughs> that whole piece of trash <laughs> went and destroyed the one. That was really good. Okay, we won the steel too, because steel is where it's at. Steel makes me feel I am pulling on the real on my fishing trip and a giant carp has been caught fantastic get rid of this trash do i want to keep twos these days so we compare it with the really good two that may be a good strategy that may be a good strategy let's try and go for that we can just play these there you go get rid of the six i don't care for it and this can trigger first, and if it just... Ah, man, if I destroy it, it's kind of a waste, isn't it? Ah, oh, anyway, pay attention to this. It's all right. When it's glass, it has a chance of just breaking, going away forever. Okay, that was disgusting. Yeah, give me some cash, baby. All right. 
more steel cards forever. Ah, yes, buy this. Put it in the trash. What are you? Plus one card slot available in slot. Sure. Allows me to get more stuff. Each blind skip this run. I guess this is a good reason to, to skip blinds. I don't usually do it. Let's open those booster packs. No anus, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, there's anus. Level 8 anus. You can now fit even the biggest of goatsies. Uh, I guess we'll get the molt. And we'll carry on. Do I want to reroll? Reroll once. Banus! Gets hard for my penis. Let me just sell that shit. Looking good. These are not things I care about. Hey, the splash is pretty decent. But I don't think we are, we care about that right now. Well, I wanted this video to actually be a short showcase of Balat Balatro. Instead of turning to an endless run. <laughs> Mistakes were made in the making of the video. I mean, I could have uh, tripled. No, no. You still want to triple the, the Joker. In fact, this should trigger first, right? Now that I think about it. Because now the Steel Joker is the best Joker. Plus one discard is good. We definitely want to buy this. We're up to three selected cards to clubs. We don't care about that, but uh, we'll keep it to improve the campfire on the next, on the next ante. Don't really need to improve it right now. What you got? One gold. Uh, created a random joker. We can get better. At the end of each round, I, I just don't like the gold cards. They, I feel like they are noob traps. They, their value is not high enough. Let's do that. To justify clogging your hand with it, you know? Random joker. Three hearts. And one stone card. Sure. I don't know if that's worth doing, because now I have less chances of getting a pair of threes, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know what's, what, whether the math is worth what I just did. Certainly Mercury is still really good, because we have seen that a simple pair is still a good enough hand. Cards drawn face down after each hand played. That is upsetting, but hopefully we can just play one hand. This is excellent. Get all that steel over there. See if we can get a double pair to be our first hand. This is a lot. This is a lot of steel, brother. feel like I'll never get a double pair. I mean, does this count as a double pair? No, it doesn't, right? It's just four of a kind. And it's nice to have a four of a kind. Don't get me wrong. Maybe I, all I want to do... Oh, but cards have drawn the, the freaking ante. The freaking uh, boss fight. Circumstance. Probably can just get rid of that. Please. A double 10. I think that's fine. We can get rid of a steel card if it means... If it means getting a giant freaking... Pile of score. We do have the hangman. Is there something I want to destroy here? I don't think so. I would have destroyed some of the other cards, but this is fine. This should be good. Yeah, anyway, and check whether everything was uh, properly ordered, but I think we're, we're going to be okay. <laughs> Couple million, no big deal. We carry on to anti 10. I think the highest I've reached is 11. When it gets to exponentials, that's when. I have never been able to breach that barrier, but certainly it is doable. Each plate queen of spades gives times two molt when scored. That seems oddly specific. Continue opening the, those tarot cards. Lucky card, huh? Always go for the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, Temperance is so good, though. 17 Dara! Go for the tarot card. Ah, seventeen dollars. Yes, I am such a pussy. Let me just go for the surefire bet of getting money. Judgment, crazy random joker. The two tarot cards. 
one wild card, bonus cards. Uh, choose two. I'm definitely going to go for the Wheel of Fortune this time around. One in four chance is garbage. Definitely want to get two, so we can destroy these fours. Go away. And then just sell the moon. And then use the Emperor. Another hangman. And the hermit. Hell yeah. Big cash. We're going to buy that and then instantly sell it. Times two right now. Oh, we got cash. We can reroll a few times. Buy and use. We respect the pair. Pluto, not so much. And uh, we'll just uh, sell that. What, what, what are we doing right now? We haven't even started. Defeated, defeated, defeated. So we're starting a new one. Oh, wait. We're starting a new one. Bruh. Mmm. Next round. Next round. Let's go. Okay, it does keep the times 2.5. I, I always get confused. Like, when you beat the boss, it starts counting for the next ante. And you can start selling things and you'll be okay. All right. Let's carry on. Mm. Hmm. Probably keep the king. Where, where is the, the king count right now? There's a lot of kings in there. There's a lot of kings in there. So, probably want to get rid of these. Hopefully we get a two or a king. Hey, baby. Get rid of seven. Nothing needs to be rearranged. Or, eh, we'll just play the stone card. There you go. Should this go first? I don't think it matters. Because the multipliers apply at the end. Like this amount. See, that was a great hand. It was still not good enough. To beat the current uh, objective. So... You know, it's going to get a little bit hairier. Mm. Do I want to get rid of a 7 and a 5? Because those I'm always throwing away in favor of better cards. I don't think so. I, will I think I'll rather just discard this crap. Yeah, baby. All right. The double 2. This goes first. And then the stone card. That should be more than plenty. Like, we are really close to that. Let's see. Yeah, the blueprint. We just want more steel cards. Alright, that's a much better... Uh, much better result. A lot of extra cash! Oh! That's the thing with Balatron. It's like... I wanted to just make, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> this is a 15 minute experience. So, hey! Check out this game. That's, it's pretty great. Here I am. An hour and ten minutes later. How far can we go? <laughs> Alright. That's more cash. But we're getting to the point where more cash is not particularly enticing. Let's get rid of... What? Let's see. Is there something that's low? We, I think we want to get rid of sevens. Yeah. Get rid of sevens. Get rid of fours. Uh, use the hangman. There you go. And then we can either get 20 bucks or two planet cards. I think probably still the $20 are better than the planet cards. I'm gonna use this. That was a mistake. <laughs> not, not a fan of the outcome of that. $20 would probably be way, way better. Give mouth to my cards or more cash. Wheel of Fortune can be great. Bitch! <laughs> you absolute piece of garbage! What you got? Pluto? Sure. This Joker's. I don't think I've seen that Skull Joker before. Prevents death if chips scored at at least 25% of required chip self-destructs. That's nice, but it seems like a, a, a losing strategy. Representative. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Next round. One more reroll. Hey, the fool is good. Fibonacci is nice. Let me just sell this piece of trash. I want to keep that for later. Let's just buy... Buy the fool and just keep it for the next round. Oh, we're still here, huh? I thought that we were in the, in the boss fight. Um, let's see. 
We don't have a lot of aces. We have lots of kings and queens. And jacks. Lots of tens somehow. Don't know when that happened. But clearly we want to get rid of these. I think. Lots of kings. Lots of tens. So we got this nicely. Nicely done. Oh, they're all... It doesn't matter how huh, that they're all spades. I guess it doesn't matter. And I don't really want to get rid of the others. So let's just play. Campfire is three. Steel Joker is nice. All right. Looking good. This should be a massive hand. I don't think it'll reach. It will reach it. Okay, never mind. So good. This card shark is really not doing any work because my build is so good. <laughs> That's the entire thing of this build. Like, you haven't even seen my ultimate form. Ancient Joker, I have an aversion for it. It just never does what I wanted to do. Let's start with a let's start with a spectral part. Pack pack should give me a hand to alter with the fool. Tara or planet, not spectral, unfortunately. Okay, what you got? Destroy and then get three random enhanced. Converts all cards into uh, random suit. That is okay. Add a purple seal, which creates a tarot card when discarded, and it's to a selected card. Copy for random Joker. Destroy all others. No thanks. I guess the least bad is uh, medium. And we do seem to be discarding lots of aces. So let's do that. Oh, that, that's right. It was a jumbo. One random card. Like, I don't really want you to dis destroy any of these. And since I don't care about suits. Let's go for this sigil. Doesn't matter, right? Now it won't turn my stone card into something else. All right, good. Good stuff. Open the Arcana pack and maybe we can get something incredible to use with a fool. Hmm, this just gives me cash. I do like the Hangman. And that's like the last seven. Almost the last seven. How about threes? Also, yeah, for sure the Hangman needs to be used. I didn't even look at the others. I should have definitely looked at the others. Strength. Strength is also great. Because we can turn... How many do we have? Let's see. Kings is at 7. Queens is at 6. Let's give ourselves... On an extra 2. There you go. Strength. And the fool is doing absolutely nothing right now. We'll uh, do the next round. All diamond cards are debuffed. Oh, look, is the suit that you just converted a whole hand <laughs> off. You piece of garbage! Get rid of this trash. Uh, we have lots of other kings, uh, I mean queens. So hopefully we can draw a, a better queen. This is a, a fine hand if I ever saw any. Do we want a bigger campfire? I don't think we do. Times three is, is plenty. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, the, maybe not. Maybe times three is not plenty. Maybe times three is, is ass. <laughs> we need to sell, 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 sell right now. <laughs> times 3.5. So we want this to duplicate campfire now. And you want it to happen at the end. Actually, it doesn't matter, right? There you go. Hmm... I guess just try and go for something that is not debuffed. That would be great. I don't trust myself not finding another pair. I mean, we can always play this one. Should be fine. Two discards, huh? How many jacks in there? Only two. Because I already played one pair, so I can't risk. Can't risk it. And we have plenty of hands to play, so this should be okay. We don't need to move anything around. There you go. It should be okay. Uh, one debuff, but then we're going to get the Steel Joker is going to come on. I mean, the Card Sharp is going to come online. And that solves the problem. There you go. Anti-11. This is probably where we're going to lose the uh, big time. Yeah, give me that cash. Check out these requirements. Oh, still not. We need to go into the next round and then we'll show it. Planet cards appear four times more frequently. I mean, do I really care about that? Not really, but I'm uh, going to buy a permanent upgrade or voucher to my thing. Why not? 
Why not? Spend that money. Mm. Up to two random tarot cards. Ooh, steel card. That's what we want. And we will enhance... I guess we want all our tens to be steel. There you go. And the fool can now create a second steel card. Uh, Reroll this garbage. I will buy and use that. And then... I will just buy and then sell... Pluto. Certainly we want to move this around. I think steel is now the absolute biggest. Uh, next round, baby. All right. That's a lot of cash, but I don't need the cash. I think I would rather have chances to use the fool. Another 10. Gets inverted to steel. Is that a good thing? Have all my 10s be steel? Or do you want to get a variety? I don't know. Uh, what the math would be? Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot that I used the planet card. Never mind. Never mind. That's okay. I forgive myself on all my shortcomings. This would be good. If nothing else, perhaps it's the mime that's falling behind. But not really. I don't think anything's falling behind. Everything's scaling nicely. You know? 7.2 million. <laughs> and now we can look at it. Look at this recording. 14 million. Yeah, this is where I lose big time. I don't think just yet, but it's definitely going to happen. We discard that. We have still plenty of 10s. So we want to discard these. How many fives? Fives are three. Yeah, discard that. Tarot card, the sherry card. Wow, that is like the greatest. We'll use that. You can even upgrade the stone card into a steel card. That may be better. You know what I'm saying? That said, we just do that. And uh, see, the problem now is like I have run out. <laughs> I've run out of things to discard to be able to find myself double pairs. I'm incentivized to keep every single one of these things. There's double jack. And then the double ten. But then I, I use up two steel cards. And that should be okay, I think. Should be fine. Let's play it. I didn't even check with these. Yeah, this is this is still the best. Please, don't humiliate me. Man, it's still like it's a it's a rough time. It's a rough time to get there. But this should do it though. And throw in eight. Throw in eight. The card sharp is probably gonna bail me out here. That was, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna lose before this boss. Unless something incredible happens in the store. Actually, Campfire is trash right now. If we get to sell a bajillion things, we might be able to make it there. Plus two hands, I missed one hand per round. No thanks. No thanks. Open some packs. More cash. Random Joker. I mean, they're all pretty bad. I mean, two random planet cards. Actually, we want that. You know why? Because they are campfire fodder. <laughs> I don't really care about what they were. I would much rather get that instead of the, the injection of cash. We're doing okay with cash. Mm, bonus cards. Mold cards can be nice. The High Priestess, huh? I think that is better than mold cards. Am I wrong about that, though? Do I care about flushes? I do not. Okay, now, uh, times four with a blueprint might be all that I need. We have a lot of cash. Let's buy some more planets into the fire. Okay, now I'm feeling pretty good. We might. Let's see how the 10 million does. Um. I do like me the twos though. Do I want to just play these? Uh, you get to a point where you're like, I don't have, I don't have enough. Oh wow, that was lucky. 
I don't have enough hand space to be able to benefit from all this steel. It's going to be enormous, gigantic, just ridiculous. Okay, well, that one in one go. This doubled up campfire. Probably that's what it's going to do. It's going to bail me out going forward. No thanks. Plus two chips for each dollar you have. That is huge. That is huge. Is it better than anything I have? Because this gets multiplied to, to insanity, to freaking oblivion and whatever comes beyond. Well, this is ass and I hate it. Okay, so we're going with the flesh. Probably should go for the four of a kind. Now that I think about it. Yeah, your anus. Um, mm, I am too stupid to do the math on this. Because multiplying 158 times, what is it, 50,000? Is it bigger than what the card sharp does for me? It's really hard to say. Uh, they're both uncommon, so they still benefit from the baseball card. I'm going to do it. I don't know if it's the right choice. I... It might not be the right choice, but I'm going to do it. And we put this at the very start. I really couldn't be convinced either way whether that was the right play or not. But now we're very incentivized, paying a two pair sets money to zero. <laughs> you piece of garbage! <laughs> asshole. Piece of trash. Can't believe you've done this to me. I can't believe you've done this. It's okay, though. I forgive you, Balatro. I want to discard that, and you're not going to stop me. Uh, but Because what we're going to do is we're just going to play pairs. Give me a tarot card. We're going to get an extra gold card, huh? Which is ass. I hate it. I think we want to just sell it for the extra multiplier. All right, bud. Check out this double king play plus the double stone card. These, uh, this is not a double pair. Don't you be taking away my cash. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is going to go fat. Super duper fat. Almost one. Now, if I were able to do a times three on this next hand will that be better i'm not sure anyway we want to pay play only pairs because i uh, you know i will get completely blasted to oblivion if i don't if i pay a double pair it will be a terrible thing all right that's pretty good somehow i think uh, this is the furthest i've ever gotten what is the, the chances of that <laughs> i just sat down for a casual loss on anti-5 just to show off the game here I am freaking anti-12 and we might be able to keep on going forward Ooh, very nice I mean, this is nice but is that something that we really want that's going to make a big ass difference I love me my gold cards but I don't think I have any other sevens I think at sevens I have thrown in them into the garbage we probably just want to upgrade a king we also have a, a bajillion tens, don't we? Eight tens for some reason. Also seven kings. So let's get an extra king. There you go. More tarot cards. What you got? Death. Which is amazing. We want death. I'm a big fan of death. Mm hmm. Probably just make another king out of this five. What, what, let me look at number of fives is four, huh? How about the number of nines? Also four. Let's get rid of this five. Make it into a king. Left. Uh, we obviously want that. Oh, yeah. Left into the right. There we go. A molt king. And then we buy these. We improve campfire. What's campfire looking at right now? Two, huh? So clearly you want that to happen right now. And we go to the next round. And we want to keep enough cash. 
600,000, 600 million. Insanity. All right. Give me double pairs. Mm. Well, this is good. But the thing is, now I may want to start discarding, looking for steel cards. You know? Let's look for some steel. Uh, we're going to do this. This goes first, and then the molt, then the enhanced, and then a stone card. You could be convinced me that it's much better to just discard some more, but since we have... Where do you go? Where do you go? Oh no, we solved it! We don't have, no longer have the incentive to repeat the same hands. Forgot about that. That being said, it should still be fun. So, you know, when you increase the base that much, 2.4 million, that is not good. <laughs> it's not good. I think the mime needs to save my anus right now. The mime needs to save my ass. Uh, how many eights? It's four eights. Uh, we don't have many aces. Let's discard that. Mm. Let's discard a king. Hey, that's good. Is it better? Like a pair is level 10. It is better. There you go. Unfortunately, is it better if you have a steel too, though? This is another instance where it's like the math is too complicated for me. Like, is it better to add the multipliers from the double pair? Or is it better to add the times the times 1.5 double thanks to the mime? Shit, brother. Let's do it like this. I think it's probably better to do it like this because of the mine. The, the entire reason is better is because of the mine. And uh, yeah, not gonna happen, brother. <laughs> yeah. I tried, I really did try. But it got too hairy. We're going to discard, uh, we're going to play the double 10, I suppose. Death, huh? Oh, death is very good here. Because we can get this six into a queen. Oh, I should have. Ah, oh, that was dumb. I should have copied the, the queen of diamonds because it gives me an extra steel card. Derp! That was awful. Uh, and with the same. Reasoning. I think this is still better. Even with the multiplier. I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm going to lose, right? Because I think my campfire is too low. Anyway, that was a good time. Furthers have ever gotten in Balatro. I mean, we still had two hands to play, but it's just not looking great. 23 million out of 300 frickin' million bajillion quintillion. It's just not, not conducive to victory. All the steel. And we're going to throw away these. There you go. Eh. It's okay. I forgive myself. This is the best I've ever done. And I still feel bad for not. Like, I feel like this build can go further than I took it. You know? I could have done better. If only I were better at the video game. We, we have no discards left, so we can just play these double fives. Let's play these, see if it makes a big difference. I don't think it does. The amount of points that you get out of it. This may have been the, the mistake, right? Maybe a times three would have been much, much, much better. Anyway, that was a good hour and a half run. <laughs> I thought be a short video <laughs> but hey it was a good time ghost deck unlocked spread of cards may appear in the shop start with a hex card wow amazing you get so many unlocks there's so many things to unlock in this video game this is a kino casino it is such a dopamine doling out amazing piece of software and you can get addicted to it 
to a hell and back. Great times. See you guys in whatever comes next. Feel free to backseat me on the in the comments. I would like actually to know all the questions that I asked that I cannot figure out for myself. Tell me what is better. Like, was it good to keep the sharp card or or did I make the right decision getting a better base? The chips. I don't think that was a good right decision. Anyway, see you guys in whatever comes next.